Hello researchers, how are you? I hope you are fine and doing well. Now in this video, I am going to demonstrate you step by step how to make Raspberry Pi emulator. Now many a times if I want to write and test some code but I don't have to do it when I am taking a break from my day to day work waiting for a download in a meeting or a script which is running in another window. So it is convenient to have a virtual box image to run Python scripts. But if you can talk of Raspberry Pi, we have noobs which can install Raspbian that is the Debian but it is not going to work in the virtual box because we require some ARM based processor. But we can still emulate Raspberry Pi using Kemu emulator but I have done using virtual box. So what I have done, I will be providing you all the links. You have to just go step by step in order to download that OVA file and I will be telling you how to install that OVA file into VirtualBox. So what you have to do is to first of all download this file. That is if I right click on this file and click on properties, it is just about a 13 KB file that is raspberry pi.virtualbox.zip. How I have downloaded it, I will be providing you the link. Just click on that link on the video below. You will be able to download this file. So click OK and if you double click this file, you will find that there is a folder and now in this folder you will be having that is raspberry pi.ova.torrent. So this is the torrent file which you have to download. So if I double click on this torrent, as I have already downloaded it, so I will not be downloading it. So you can find that it is about 633 MB of the torrent. So you have to download it and after the download you will be greeted with this file that is raspberry pi.ova that is about 643 MB of the file. So how to install it, how to get a remote telnet of the Raspberry Pi onto your virtual box, I will be demonstrating you. So you just have to uh, start your Oracle VMware virtual box. So click on file and click on import appliance. So over here you have to browse. Now what I have to do, I have to just go to desktop. I just go to raspberry pi.ova and I click open and I click next. So you just don't have to change anything. It is based on Ubuntu that is 10.10. .10. So you just have to click on import. So it will be just taking less than a minute to import the virtual disk image of Raspberry Pi. And after that, we will be firing that, uh, you can say the emulator of Raspberry Pi. So I will not pause the video. You can find it is not taking much time. So almost done. So now you can find that the Raspberry Pi powered off has been started. So just click on start. So let me close this for you. And I click on view full screen mode. So now you can see that Ubuntu 10.04 has started. It will be providing you a virtual atmosphere for Raspberry Pi. So for the login, I will be also providing you the username and passwords. So for the username, you just have to type up that that is called RPI. That is RPI and press enter. And for the password, it is password. So now what you have to do is to just go to this link and you have to go to accessories and click on LX terminal. So over here, what you have to do is to type in that is CD Debian. And now you can find there is a one launch script that is dot slash launch Debian. So you will be demanded with the password for RPI. So again, I type password, the same password which is going to be used when you have to log in. So now you can see that the VNC server has started and now again open another terminal accessories and LX terminal. Now what you have to do is to give this command x tight VNC viewer space local host. So now you can see that the local host has started the tight VNC which is known as a QMO emulator which is going to give us the same environment as we are going to have into Debian, uh, you can say the Raspbian operating system. So now you can find that it has given us the login. So let us type the login name that is called root and the password is known as password. So again you can find that it has started with the Raspberry Pi. So you can now give any command or uh, whatever the environment of Raspberry Pi what you have, you can have with this emulator. 
so in this video i have shown you how to make raspberry pi emulator so do give it a shot you can find all the links and all the commands which i have shown you in this video with username and passwords downstairs thank you so